Hello everybody, my name is Cirque and welcome back to the Night Owl Vanilla Server. Yes, we're back on the Vanilla Server. Uh, it's been quite some time. We've been spending a lot of time on the modded server and uh, doing Windcraft and such. Uh, but I thought it was time to get back here and I'm out grabbing some ferns and some grass because we're going to be working, uh, doing some landscaping today. A little bit of landscaping. And uh, look at this beautiful village. I just love looking at this thing. Ah, oh, so cool. So nice. <laughs> Very empty buildings, but uh, they look pretty good on the outside. Let's head into town before we head over to our house, which is where we're going to be doing the uh, the landscaping and other such work. Um, I want to head into town because Kami, I think we saw it, uh, we probably saw it last episode or a couple episodes ago. Um, uh, Kami is working on a farm building and it is all finished. Oh, I have tons of chests out here that I need to pick up. Got the blacksmith here. Looks like we're missing a door. Stupid zombies. Uh, but yeah, this building right here, I think we've seen the outside before. Uh, Kami's had it built for a while. Um, but like one of the last things I did. Uh, before not playing on here was uh, helping him out finishing the redstone on here. This looks really nice. I I saw the episode where he did this, but I haven't been on to uh, come check it out. But uh, yeah, he decorated the inside. It looks really nice. And we got some seeds here. We got some wheat. We got some uh, potatoes and we have some carrots. And he's got a villager here. Uh, just kind of... Oh cool, he's even... Or, oh, he's, I think he's trying to harvest it, but he can't. <laughs> it's uh, too high up or something. Um, but yeah, I think, I think, or I know, VTech, um, Vengeance Tech, uh, initially came in and put in uh, all this redstone. Uh, there's a dropper elevator that picks up the items from up here and brings them over here and gets, they all get sorted out and then they get shot up into the chest. And, uh, VT was working on that, um, but then Kami wanted to change some stuff around, and so I changed some of this stuff around to make it work better for that, and kind of did some work up here to make these things work better. Uh, but it's, it seems to be running pretty smoothly. Uh, what he's got is he's got some villagers down here, just uh, some farmers that plant and harvest the crops. And there is a minecart that runs underneath, and these uh, villagers, um, their inventories are full, so they actually can't pick up uh, crops. Or, I guess they can, but uh, they're only going to pick up a few of them. Uh, most of them are going to drop to the ground, and the minecart's going to pick them up. And then the minecart comes over to here and unloads, and then that gets picked up into the dropper elevator, and that all gets brought up and sorted. And it works really nice. Uh... I've never, I've never done um, a villager, like an automatic villager thing, and I've never really seen one. Uh, like, I've, I've seen some pictures of them on Reddit, but I've never really seen one in depth. And uh, it's a neat little concept. I really need a new mic stand. <laughs> Mine, uh, it's, it's a kind of a cheap one. And my mic is so heavy that... Uh, and it's kind of like at a at a weird angle. I mean, it's basically sitting at like bent at like a 90 degree angle. And uh, just like with that and the weight of my microphone and like how far it's extended, it likes to fall down. <laughs> uh, it, it just doesn't tighten enough to keep it up all the time where it's hard to sometimes keep it up. So sometimes it likes to slide down. I got to readjust it. It's really annoying. But uh, yeah, over here at our house, last time we did all of this stuff, and I think it looks fantastic. I love it. I love just having the fields and uh, the little um, animal pens. Very nice. Very nice. And uh, I've been doing a little bit of work. Maybe, maybe we'll go up top first instead of going in there. Uh, but yeah, I've been doing um, a little bit of work trying to get storage situated because I didn't quite have storage for everything and I had some chests lying around like there was some chests sitting over there that I didn't want and so I moved a lot of stuff over into this closet I now have my redstone stuff over here and I have just a rotten flesh chest 
And then I have some like miscellaneous tools and uh, in here like torches and ender pearls and arrows and nothing in there yet. Uh, and then I've just kind of moved some stuff. Oh, by the way, I was cleaning the crop out the I was cleaning the crop farm out. Enjoy, yay! <laughs> uh, he he doesn't use redstone very often, so he usually just gives it away when there's extra left over. So I will I'll take that. Can stick the redstone in there, and then can get uh, rail stuff can go up here, and that can go in there. Awesome. Awesome possum. Um, yeah, up here we have a fish tank that uh, is not being used, sadly. I wonder if I should... Uh, does that look alright like that? Yeah, I think so. I was thinking maybe I should change that like last line out with stone. But I want to have max visibility. But yeah, this is my uh, quote-unquote fish tank <laughs> for a guardian. There's no water because... Uh, it's hard to see the guardians when there's water. Um, although it, it does kind of suck cause they just kind of flop around and it's sort of sad, but <laughs> it's all right. Uh, it, it's just kind of cool to have a guardian sitting around here, but, uh, we don't have one yet. Maybe someday. And I don't think I did much over here. I added some chests. Um, I want to go around as well as doing some landscaping. I want to go around and like decorate the house a bit, put some, uh, things on shelves and uh, some stuff on the walls. But I added some chests over here for like tools and enchanted books. Uh, we have a little armor stand up there on the shelf. Uh, we have our map up here that is very incomplete. Uh, and then, yeah, nothing really else, nothing really different over there. Uh, but the main thing I've been working on is uh, one thing that I've really needed for a while now is some bulk storage because our storage room up there is kind of tiny. And so we have the secret entrance that we've had for a while. Uh, and I made it so that you can drop down and it closes behind you with a tripwire. And down here, this is going to be our bulk storage. So this is the first thing that I want to work on today. Uh, this is just going to be tons and tons of chests. They're going to be four high. And we got like two wide, then three wide, two wide, three wide, two wide. Tons and tons of chests. Uh, way more than I need, but... Uh, that's kind of the whole point. I wanted it to just look like a, a massive, massive amount of storage. Um, and then back here we have a little hallway. Uh, this one goes to the cow farm, and you're not supposed to be out. And we got the mine entrance, and we have the stairs going up. And then we have this entrance going to the, uh, the horse pen. You are not supposed to be in here. Uh, and then we have that entrance going to the sheep. And I think right here we're going to have some storage for like farm stuff. Uh, so like all the seeds and stuff. Um, we're going to... I might get rid of that chest in there. And all of this stuff can get stuck in chests in there. And that way whenever I harvest stuff I can just kind of drop it off in, uh, in this little area. Rather than like bringing it up into my normal storage room. And then I've already kind of got some of this filled. <laughs> got lots of cobble. And uh, I have a little bit of the uh, the three other stones in here. Uh, I I guess that's all that I have. I think I must have I must have been using quite a bit because I know I I had like a huge amount of these. Although I don't know what I don't think I would have used them for anything except for the andesite. So maybe I just don't have as much as I thought. But anyways, um, I need to go around through here, and we have to take out the floor. And get rid of the blocks underneath all the chests. And behind all the chests, we're going to put... Uh, we got some spruce wood um, behind the chests. And then we have dark oak wood underneath and on top of the chests. Uh, that should look quite nice. And then I need to work on a floor. And probably get some lighting in here. Which, honestly, I think I might just do something like this. Uh, which should give us enough lighting. Um, I know people generally don't like torches, but I, I don't have a big problem with them. Even if they're not, like, decorated with, uh, you know, with, like, an item frame behind it with some sort of block. Like, I'm okay with just having torches there. Uh, <clears throat> they're not, uh, I mean, they're not the best looking thing, but, 
uh, when you're just making like a little, you know, rustic underground storage room, <laughs> they can they can do all right. Dang, Enderman! <laughs> ah, I was sitting down in my storage room, uh, just minding my own business. You know, I was looking off. Whoops, I was looking off uh, off screen. Where did I even get killed at? Over here. I was looking off screen and uh you jerk. God. You stupid jerk. <laughs> I was like looking at my my other monitor, uh watching a video, uh just kind of taking a break. Uh and all of a sudden I just hear a stupid Enderman teleport and then start attacking me. So apparently I was like standing here and I must have he teleported right into my view. Freaking guy. And of course I like I always fumble around in those situations. I can never like hit the right key. I mean, it would have been easy just to like get over here and uh, start attacking him, but uh, he already had me down to like two and a half hearts when I finally got to attacking him. So, anyways, this is uh yeah, this is our storage room. I put in some clay on the roof. Uh, I wanted to kind of keep it dark because I want it to be nice and dark down here. Um, you know, the stone is a little maybe a little too bright, but I think. I think I like it. I think it'll work. It'll do just fine. And we have our little drop down area over here. Um, I was originally planning on having a, a slime elevator going up there. I don't really feel like dealing with that right now. Uh, maybe someday in the future we'll have one. Uh, the biggest thing, I'm not sure how well it's going to work, is uh, actually like when we get up there and we have the redstone for that door there kind of in the way that might cause some issues uh, but I haven't really played around with that so now I guess we need to uh, we need to get this area this hallway kind of done real quick um, and then we can move to the outside and get some uh, get some landscaping done get some trees planted get some things uh, get some like plants around uh, just some nice, nice agriculture. I mean, I guess we already have the agriculture, but we need some better scenery. Let's ride down our hole. One more time, at least. Ooh, so much fun. Uh, so we got this thing done, and now I have this hallway done. Look at that. I really like how this looks. I got uh, some andesite behind some trap doors. Kind of get this circular design. Circ for circular. With uh, the posts, and we have some storage here for our farming items. Uh, so that is pretty great, and I have lots of stuff on me right now. Uh, so let's go use this stuff. Um, first off, one thing I want to take care of is I think I want to get rid of this. Uh, or do I? Is this good enough? I know we talked about last episode how when these pumpkins grow, they're going to grow onto the tilled soil and until it. So I was kind of thinking of replacing all this with podsole. One problem is I don't have a lot of podsole on me right now. And I think we're just going to leave it for now, actually. That'll be good enough. Uh, but I do want to put some podsole in these pens. Oh, I still have this thing. And I wonder what I should do with that. <laughs> I almost want to put like some chests in here. Just put them right... I could just put like a few chests right here for uh, sheep stuff, for wool stuff. I know I have a chest. <sighs> Come on, guy, jump. I know I have a chest inside of here, but uh, I think I'd rather have the chest outside, um, just so I don't have some chests sitting in here randomly. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's grab some podsole, and hopefully these sheep don't like fall in. Oh wait, these guys are gonna need these guys need grass. Uh, hmm, okay. Cancel that. Uh, <laughs> I know, I mean, there's going to be grass. I wasn't going to replace the whole thing with podsole, but I think it's it's best to just have the whole thing grass so that uh, the grass go grows back nice and quickly. Um, and also, they're, um, they'll be able to get their their fleece, their, their uh, wool back a little bit quicker. I don't want to slow that down at all because if, if I ever need wool, uh, you don't want to be waiting on that. So 
Yeah, we'll leave we'll leave that all grass, but we'll mix in some pod salt in here, I think. I should probably get some coarse dirt as well to kind of mix in with here so that it doesn't look quite as uh abrupt. I really like this I like this uh hmm. I really like this grass color and I think it goes really well with the uh with the pod sole. The only problem is that there's like a huge difference between like this and this. This is like very green and like a deep green and brown and then it's like super light gray. Uh, so I think we might need some coarse dirt to maybe mix in with there. Um, so while we're working on this, I brought this up in uh, my last modded episode. Figured I'd bring it up here too so we could get maximum exposure and maximum opinions. Uh, but basically, uh, the Steam Summer Sale is going on. And every year when that happens, uh, you know, I start looking at all the games that are out there and... Uh, see what uh what would be fun to get and what would be fun to play and i've been looking through them i haven't seen a whole lot i did buy a couple of games the other day that i am trying out and i might do series on but uh, don't know yet um but if you guys have seen any uh good games any games that you're interested in and think that i would enjoy or would like to see me play make sure to put that in the comments down below because uh, I I am kind of looking for something non minecraft to play um, just to get a little bit more variety um, I know my non minecraft videos don't usually do super well but uh, still be nice to get something else going on uh, I and I also know I was playing a GTA 5 uh, I guess it's been like a month or two now since we since I stopped playing that, um, I originally stopped just because there was, or I kind of stopped making videos for a little bit, kind of took a bit of a break, and I'm still working on getting back from that. I mean, this is my first vanilla episode in a long time, and uh, so I, I sort of stopped because of that, and I haven't picked it up, and I don't know if I'm going to pick it up. Uh, so I, I guess if you guys want to see more of that, I might do it although I, I might still not it's a pretty fun game but uh, like part of the problem with with uh, one thing I don't like about it and like making videos with it is the fact that it's it's already like really old <laughs> I mean the game's like a year old you know it was released on console last summer I think uh, plus the fact that it's already been out a few months oh crap dang it oh, I <laughs> Ah, uh, this is a terrible episode, or a terrible, I, I've died, no death, death bad. Now there's going to be a hole in there, dang it. Uh, stupid creeper. Anyways, um, but yeah, so it's like the game's kind of old, and with a game like that, oh, you, dang it. Uh, let's get the wood. And with a game like that, like, I mean, I know the story takes a while you know, it takes a lot of episodes to get through. <laughs> uh, like, I, I remember seeing some of Vintage Beef's episodes, and I think he made it up to, like, oh, that's a huge hole. I'm sure he made it up to, like, 70 or 60 or something like that in episodes. And so, like, even doing that, like, the episodes one a day, it still takes forever to, like, even make a dent in the, uh, in the game and in the story. Oh, there's my boots. That's what I wanted. But I can't pick it up. So, I just, I don't know. It doesn't, it almost at this point doesn't feel worth it, I guess. Is what I'm saying. To play, uh, to play GTA and make episodes. Uh, and I mean, it, it was fun, but I don't, I don't know if it was really, I, I think I still like Watch Dogs better than, uh, better than GTA. But, uh, yeah, my point if you have ideas for games, let me know. I might check them out. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go for that from there. Uh, what a, what a mess. Stupid creeper. Where did you, he must have spawned right up there. Dang it. Dang it. What a guy. Okay. Well, let's, uh, you, are you gonna, gonna hop on out of there? What if I put some water in there? Will that make you... There we go. Awesome. 
So, let's get some pods hold down. Now my inventory is even more of a mess than it already was. Fantastic. Okay, I'm going to get organized, maybe get some more pods in here, and then we'll come back. <laughs> Well, I planted a bunch of trees down there and uh, put some grass and flowers around. I also did some work on the house. I don't know if you can really tell, but uh, I uncleaned it up. I dirtied it up. <laughs> it was very clean, and now it is not. I uh, put in some block variation. So instead of just plain green clay walls, we have green and lime green walls. Uh, and we have brown or black stained clay and gray stained clay mixed in. Um, and we can kind of go over there and take a look. I just wanted to kind of, I mean, you can't see it a lot. Like there's a lot going on and there's no real big surfaces, especially on this side. Uh, so there's not a lot that you can see. Hopefully that makes it to the house. Oh, we overshot it. But like here, I guess this is kind of a nice vantage point. <laughs> You can kind of see uh, these walls. Oh, did I? Oh, I didn't do that wall. Okay, I guess we'll have to do that wall real quick. Uh, you can't see that wall on the inside, so I guess I forgot about it. Uh, but yeah, it just kind of breaks up the walls a bit. Um, I think it'd probably be good to put some leaves around the house as well, like other people are doing. That would work really nicely. Uh, let's go do this wall real quick. So I've just been kind of going through doing kind of a random uh, random splotches I think we'll do something like that and maybe do one of these as well just do that one as gray lighten that up a bit and then let's get over to the stairs uh, so then I also I went through this floor and I put in some polished andesite mixed in with the andesite. There's a creeper. Don't blow up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, he didn't he didn't destroy too much. That's all right. Let's put that back. And was that? Uh, not sure what that was. That was I'm assuming that was spruce wood. And we need another plank here. Hmm. I probably have some dark oak planks, but that's okay. I'll just make some real quick. Not too difficult. Alright, so anyways, before we were rudely interrupted. Dang guy, I need to, I guess it's still dark in here somewhere. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of what it looks like on the inside. We just have some random blocks. It, I don't know, it's kind of messy. Uh, it's kind of maybe not the greatest, but it, it definitely... It breaks it up, and I think it does add a little interest here and there. Um, and then I, I put some andesite mixed in with this bridge. It used to just be all polished andesite. Uh, put in the polished andesite here as well. And then also on these roofs, uh, I put in some cobblestone slabs mixed in with the, uh, with the stone brick slabs to, again, break that up a bit and uh, give it a dirtier feel. Um, one of the main reasons for this is, you know, I wanted to go with the rustic theme that we've been going with, uh, even with the kind of modern design and modern layout. Uh, and I, I think this kind of helps with that, especially if we had the leaves going on here. It would definitely, you know, it kind of breaks up that clean modern look and uh, just makes it look a little bit more rustic, <laughs> a little bit messier. Uh, but yeah, I like it. And then... Uh, we can just kind of drop down here and take a look at the grounds. We have a little pathway going here. Goes off that way to nowhere at the moment. But we got some trees growing up here. I, I originally had a plan to put some sort of garden or something up here. But I don't know exactly what I want. So I just uh, put some trees up there. We got some trees growing on the hillside. Some trees growing in here. And... Uh, yeah, I just kind of put, I bone mealed every once in a while, put some ferns in. So this place is looking a lot, uh, a lot more lively and a lot more cluttered. And I like it. I like it a lot. One last thing I want to do here today is uh, we have some shelving around, like there. And I put a shelf over there and a shelf here. And we need to fill that up, which I don't really have a lot to fill it up with. Uh, there's not a lot that you can like place on shelves, 
but I really like making shelves. And I think, I think we might, eh, does that look good? Maybe go like that, kind of like a towel rack or something like that. I've done that before in a kitchen and I thought it looked pretty neat. So I think we'll do that again. Uh, but let's do, let's see. What I really have is like chess, flower pots, and uh, brewing stands. Luckily there's lots of flowers that we can put in the flower pots. Uh, so that makes it a little bit more interesting. Let's put a fern up here and let's put a chest here. Just as a little decoration. Um, I also have some paintings. I don't know, we don't have a lot of open space uh, to put paintings, which is all right. Uh, but let's put, let's put just like a flower pot here. It's like a mug. Um, I need to make more flower pots. I got some, uh, got some of these here. That'll do for now. Uh, so I think we need a flower here. How about the Zur Bluet? Ooh, it's just a nice pretty little flower. And I don't want to put the brewing stand over here because we have... Um, we have the, the brewing area right over there. So I think we'll just put a nice little mushroom there upstairs. Yeah, we don't have like any open space here because it's mostly just the storage and the fish tank. Um, I'm trying to look for places for that need like a, a painting as well. Maybe I'm, I'm thinking... Up here, we could put uh, the brewing stand. That should look all right. Yeah, I think I like that. And maybe just put uh, one of these right here. And should it be a cup or should it be a, <laughs> or should it be a flower? Maybe we'll put. Uh, yeah, that's kind of neat. Or maybe we'll, maybe we'll put it here actually. Put it right there. Fancy, right in the middle. Uh, we do have that space that could use a painting. Uh, otherwise, yeah, there's really nothing that could use paintings. Uh, item frames with uh, with items in them might be kind of interesting, but I don't know what I'd really put in there. Because uh, item frames, that would only be one block for sure. Uh, whereas paintings, we're going to have multiple blocks most likely. Nah. Uh, ooh. Mm. Uh, I do really like the wither one. I don't know if it really fits there. But that is one of my favorite paintings. So I think I think we'll leave it. I think we'll that'll do. What if we could get something up here like that? Definitely fills in that little space. I don't know if I like the colors of that one though. Oh, uh, maybe nice white one I don't know it just it looks kind of weird actually I don't know if I really like it on this uh, on this wall style what else can we do um, where can we put a painting I want to put paintings I and mean, if we could do like a single painting guy here like that and maybe like that that's kind of interesting. Or if we could put like a, ooh, ooh, yes. Yes, if we could do like that and like that, except those are the same. Let's change that one. Eh, no, I don't want it. Don't like it. Nope. Stop it. Uh, let's get, I guess I put my dirt away. Did I, did I lose the painting? Oh, no, there it is. Haha. -ha. Okay. Uh, this is one thing they definitely need to change. Uh, the painting selection, although I kind of, I kind of like the randomness, um, but it definitely would be nice to be actually, actually be able to select the painting. Now I wonder if we should actually put that over here, because over here it's kind of plain, whereas here you have the shelving unit right there. Hmm. All right, let's try it again. <laughs> uh, let's grab that one, and let's do it the right way by blocking off possible painting areas dang it you still found a way <laughs> to do it I guess because that chest you can place it on the chest ooh that might work yeah yeah I kind of like that okay 
you know, I'm pretty happy with this place. It looks nice. Uh, it should work really nice now that we have uh, storage. I still have torches, but eh, as I said earlier, I don't mind torches that much. Like even when they're just sprawled about, I just, I don't really notice them. I mean, it's definitely nicer when you don't have them. It's just, it's usually, you can't get things as bright as, uh, as you need them or as you'd like them without the torches. Uh, but anyways, uh, one thing I wanted to mention is that this is probably going to be my last Night Owl episode for uh, indefinitely, <laughs> an indefinite amount of time. Uh, as you probably noticed, I mean, it's been a while since I've been on here, and uh, it's been a long time since other people have been on here, and uh, I, I just... I don't really have time <laughs> right now to be playing around on here. Um, I still love vanilla Minecraft, uh, but we do have our underground series. So I'll be playing vanilla Minecraft on there. And I still want to hang out with the night owls, uh, but we can do that on the modded server as well as uh, possibly with some other games. We can hang out with the, do some games with other people and uh, hang out with them there. But it just, as much as I, I love, like, I, I mean, I love this house, and uh, I, I really like how this is turning out. Um, it just, it doesn't, it's not as fun <laughs> right now, especially since I already have um, a vanilla Minecraft. Like, you know, it's supposed to be, that's my single player vanilla Minecraft where I can do, you know, massive builds and do whatever I want and not have to worry about other people and this is one where I could build with other people and hang out with them and do stuff alongside them uh, but if I can't do stuff alongside them or with them then uh, this series is kind of pointless um, so for the time being uh, Night Owl Vanilla will be put to the side and uh, hopefully they'll kind of give me time or let me allow me to kind of focus on the other series and possibly some other games which which a reminder uh make sure to if you have any ideas for games or if you have any suggestions leave them in the comments down below uh but anyways thank you for watching i hope you have enjoyed i will see you next time goodbye peoples